Shadow. You look so Hi. cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we did something different for the finale, you know. <laughs> You're beautiful no matter what you do. So you always Thank you. <laughs> Well, look, I have so much to talk about with you, but before we can get into the finale, I got to talk to you about this dinner table scene, okay? This is like top five dinner table scenes of all time. Oh, wow. It is. I'm serious. I was just, you had me at one o'clock in the morning, like, no, she did it. I can't <laughs> <wait." laughs> Oh, well, that was me too. I'm not going to lie. I watched it over and over. I probably didn't finish that episode until like, one one something in the morning like 145 one something I was like dang it took me an hour and a half to watch this episode I kept rewinding but I mean what was your thought like when you got the script for the episode and you're reading through the script like did you see that that's where it was going or did you have no idea you were still shocked as we were so prior to filming the like well in season now we're in season three sorry season two episode one um I had a meeting with Courtney and she was telling me like the trajectory of my character my arc and where Diana's going and she said that you know there'll be a time where this dinner is going to happen and it's one of her favorite scenes one of her favorite you know episodes and I'm like god no pressure like this is our creator I gotta bring it um yeah and she kind of told me like you know what was going to happen but seeing it written and then feeling that energy on the day, we brought it off the page. Like I, yeah, I couldn't, I'm stuck. I'm still stuck. Like it turned out way more, like way better than I imagined. And shout out to our director, Shanna too. Cause like, who oh God, it was a collective. We killed it. Look, y'all did that. I was just like, no, she did not. I am still like I can still see the scene in my head. I still I love that. Slam it down. I was just like, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> yes, it was a whole Uno card. One of the memes. I'm like, they are so funny. Yes. Especially when they put it to the ether beat, then it really took me out. Yes. I was like, that was so good. That was so good. I love Twitter and Instagram. They are hilarious. But one of the things that I love about this season is, you know, the, Diana has more to do and Diana mm -hmm. is starting to actually come into her own. Now, I can't say I always agree with everything Diana be doing, but I yes. still respect the fact that, you know, we kind of see Diana in season one, kind of learning the ropes of a game from her mom. And now we get to see her actually uh, apply those, you know, into practice. But one of the mm -hmm. questions I want to ask is, do we see this back and forth between your character and Tariq? Do you feel as though that Diana, you know, has been intimate with him because she cares for him? Or is it solely like applying the tools that Monet have put in her to make sure that, you know, you kind of use this to get what you want? I definitely, just from like my preparation with Diana, I definitely feel like it was because she really genuinely likes him. Granted, she did the thing with, you know, stealing the QR code and the drugs, but genuinely, she likes him. Like, even in that episode where Effie is telling her, like, you know, um, it needs to be, or I think Diana said, oh my gosh, so sorry, but one of us said <laughs> that, you know, it needs to be and like something special. It's a special moment, a special time. But I feel like for Diana, even though some people would say, and I said this before, like some people were like, well, that's not special. It was in his dorm room, da, da, da. But it's special for Diana because Tariq is special to her. And that was special enough. Um, but at the same time, a lot of people have to make the best decision for self. And Diana was pushed, her back was against the wall. She wanted to redeem herself. So unfortunately, she had to kind of man manipulate him with the crying and then shut that off take the coat and it's still the drugs but I do think she genuinely feels for him she likes him okay because I was like I don't know Diane I don't know if you really like to read like that no more she do <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen later but she definitely she I mean Tariq was her boo okay it was like the first guy that she really got to connect with 
She's from a very protective, ruthless family. She didn't really have friends, let alone a guy friend. So someone that she connected with and he's doing the same things that she wanted to do, go to school. And he's, you know, doing the drug thing. She's part of a drug family and she would like to go to school. She looked to that. So, yeah. That was a long answer, but that's I'm going to keep positivity. Yeah. I'll be back on Diana Karen for two weeks. Yes, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> but there is there is a touching thing that happens in the finale episode, and I wanted to talk about that because I know that we give Diana a hard time, like, sis, why you can't just mind your business? But I like that when she has this conversation with her dad that, you know, he tells her like, this is your strength. That's what makes you stronger than everyone. And I really wanted to talk about the importance of that filming that scene, but also showing the relationship that fathers have with their daughters. Yeah, that scene, first of all, I love Berto, he who plays Lorenzo. He is a girl, a girl dad, and I'm a daddy's girl. So I feel like that chemistry is just very easy. Um, and the way we massage those scenes, like we pour into each other and he gives me advice and like, I don't know, I just really love working with him. So that scene was beautiful. And I, as far as like the crying thing, like I didn't expect to cry the way I did. But I felt for Diana, usually like when I do crying scenes or whatever, I go to a place that hurt me or something happened to me that I, it makes me emotional. But I can honestly say in that scene, I felt for Diana. It was like, she, I'm not a snitch. Mm -hmm. And I really do want Monet to see me. I want you guys to see me. I am doing the right thing. At least she thinks she's doing the right thing. And it's like, don't you see me? Don't you hear me? Like, understand me? So it was so beautiful and how gentle he played that and how gentle he was with Diana and his words and even as an actor, his delivery. It was, it was, it was such a beautiful scene. So now you got me feeling bad for being mad at Diana <laughs> in the previous episode. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> but well, I mean, thank you. Look, I'm going to take it back. See, this is why I like doing interviews. For now. For that, now. That, that. But, I mean, yeah, we on a good page now with Diana. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> but it's interesting because, you know, Monet and Diana have this very, like, rocky relationship. All yeah. of a sudden, like, in season two. I mean, can you speak a little bit more about, I don't know what you can say about the new season, but... Are we going to be able to explore that relationship a little bit more? Because it feels like there's something Monet hasn't shared as to why she is so guarded with Diana. Oh, wow. First of all, I love that observation. Um, wow. Uh, as far as season three, I can't really speak on, but it would be nice to see where that interaction goes. Um, if she's fully forgiven, slightly forgiven, or she hated completely. Um, I will say, though, just like as a daughter, I feel like with your mother, it is that push and pull relationship in real life, you know, uh, and you do sometimes you get over it or you work through it. And I'm hoping especially for Diana's sake, that they can work through it because Monet is no joke. It would be nice to see where that relationship goes because it would have also been nice to have Monet kind of like validate Diana in what she did with manipulating Tariq, which is something that she would kind of like instill in her, not necessarily Tariq, but like saying, you know, you got to use what you have to get what you want. Mm -hmm. And she said that in season one, episode five on the steps. I remember that scene. And it's like, like you said earlier in the interview, it, she's finally using it. She's finally applying those tools and it would be nice. I wish that Monet, was, Monet and Diana were in a better place so that she could acknowledge like, okay, girl, you did a good job this time, you know? So we'll see. Do you, do you think a part of that though is, because I kind of think back to when, when Diana and Drew stole the drugs back and gave it to Lorenzo and he kind of brushes past the fact that Diana has something to do with this 
Do you yeah. feel like how, how hard Monet is on Diana? Do you feel that that's a correlation to the abandonment or, or maybe the lack of consideration or respect that Monet doesn't get from the men within the Tejada family? Do you feel like she's being hard on you in an effort to make sure that you end up with the respect you deserve? I definitely feel that. I don't think Diana sees it that way. But from the outside looking in 100%, because just like you said, and even Monet says it, like she has been through so much and like being, being, she's been through so much and she's a strong woman. I feel like she's trying to instill that into Diana and let her know that I don't want you to repeat the same things that happens to me. I want you to be better. But Diana, unfortunately, she's a young girl. She wants to do what she wants. Mama, you don't know nothing. Like, once she gets that, once it clicks for her, I feel like then she'll have a much more appreci- much higher appreciation for what Monet tries to instill in her. What is the what is the most satisfying thing that you're happy that the audience got to see with Diana this season? That she finally stepped into her voice and that she wasn't necessarily so wrapped up under Tariq that she couldn't put her family first or her needs first because everyone was like oh my god Dan is so thirsty and I'm like okay okay she could be thirsty but then what she do use her thirst okay quote unquote and manipulated the f out of him and got those drugs for the family she wasn't necessarily recognized in that moment by her father even though it was her plan she strategized that she didn't get the credit but she did it you know, I feel like that would be, I, I really do love that she's using her voice and she is stepping up and I'm hoping that she continues that journey in season three. I am too, because I was like, the way that these these women be thirsting over Tariq, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. it's too much. Like maybe mm-hmm. if we have three different <laughs> women, like always competing for yes. this, I would be okay with it. But I'm just like, this too much. You better than this, Diana. You are better than this. Yeah. Well, see, she showed them finally because they're like, she's so thirsty. Okay. <laughs> she put that to the side that day and did what she needed to do. Yeah. Do you feel like Diana is more, do you feel like after the talk with um, her father that she is more comfortable being who she is because you see how drew tried to get at her like you don't mind your business or no one wants to take accountability for their actions just they want to put the blame on you for spilling the tea but no one takes Mm -hmm. accountability for what they've done do you feel like she's more comfortable in who she is now i think she's still trying to figure it out Hmm. i think she's still trying to figure it out um She's still like, even though she's finding her place, finding her footing and her power and her voice, she's still put in situations where she's still learning. Um, And she is a young girl and she's trying to, she's figuring out life, you know? So to answer that question, she's figuring it out still. We're going to give Diana some grace, okay? Sometimes I think- Thank you. How old Diana is, we're going to give her some- Okay. I'm going to do better myself. Okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> See, I be working on myself too. <laughs> but I mean, what is the what's the most shocking thing to you, like about this finale? Like, what is? Because I didn't know how this was gonna play out. I kind of had it made up in my mind how I thought it would play out. But I mean, with the ending, how you feeling? What are your thoughts about this? It got me. I. I just didn't expect it. I didn't think that was going to happen. I really didn't. I thought that there was a lot more life left, a lot more like who, I want to know who his real, who he thought his real mother was. Like I was completely shocked. And I feel like even with our super fans who've been making predictions and all of that, I still feel like a lot of people are going to be shocked because there's no way. That one got me. Like when I read the script, I was like, wait what I had to read the scene again because I thought I missed something I was like what so yeah that 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 mm, 
That's a shocker. How do you think your character is going to react with the fallout of everything that's happened? You can't talk about season three, but just giving your thoughts into the character, what do you think Diana's actions are going to be following the events of the finale? Well, I definitely think there will be some grieving um, because Diana wanted to go to Stansfield like Zeke. She wanted to play basketball like Zeke. Like, how come Zeke can do this and I can't? Um, she definitely had a really close bond with Zeke. So I feel like, of course, like in real life, we have to push through. Um, it would just be nice to see how she pushes through. Like, which side of that does she choose, you know? So we'll see. Mm. I know it's vague. I can't really give a answer answer <laughs> all the time i'm okay with it it just gives us more time to come up with conspiracy theories that's what i'm here for exactly i love your positivity yes Look, you're so like optimistic like you know what yes we have good energy in this world okay we got too many problems Hello. We're behind closed doors absolutely yes look i you have made me believe in diana again okay <laughs> thank you Diana is back on the good side with me because I was for a moment. Thank I was you. Like, Monet, you got to choke her up. You're done. You yes, up. done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, listen, she got choked up, okay? Oh God. She got choked that was up crazy. I mean, how, mm -hmm. how, I mean, I guess, tell it, can you just talk about, just, just to wrap it up, just the experience from the fans, the memes everything that's been happening like what has that experience been like for you especially from season one to season two when you have so much more to do and then yeah. just wrap it up just let us know what you're working on where else can we see you Ooh. well I will say it's been so fun and hilarious it's been a journey just to see like from season one to season two Diana's arc her journey she's grown so much to the point where there's memes, you know, some of them are hilarious. Um, it's interesting because this is my first like real like series regular job. So I'm still just like Diana, still trying to like figure it all out and like take it all in. Um, but it's a blessing and I'm so, so grateful. Uh, and then what I have coming up, Hopefully I have a lot coming up soon. Um, as of now, I'm just focused on filming this. We just started filming season three. So we're going to rock that out and go from there. <laughs> well, look, I just want to thank you so much for always taking time out of your day to speak with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Absolutely. And thank you. Look, please let me know any way, shape or form how we can uplift. I'm going to manifest more blessings coming your way. But Ooh, likewise, Amen. okay, we're going to claim it right now. It's done. <laughs> It is done. Yes, it's done, period. But I'm just sending so much love and light your way. And I really hope you have a Thank great you. day. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Have a blessed one. So good talking to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.